So it seems you guys tend to agree with my previous video on the trend of new games on GeForce Now. If you haven't seen that video, feel free to check that out. The platform needs to see new AAA games, especially the most popular games from the biggest publishers. You would have thought that these publishers would have jumped on this since GeForce Now is an opt-in only platform. So the lack of adding these games isn't GeForce Now's fault, right? Well, after this week's announcement, it would seem like they heard me. What timing? I originally had this video made and set for today. I think I might put the original on Patreon. And now that Microsoft Xbox PC games are set to join GeForce Now, I believe the platform will become the Netflix of cloud gaming. The deal should include massive game franchises like Halo, Forza, Minecraft, Flight Simulator, Fallout, Elder Scrolls, and more. These Microsoft games are a new start, and if the deal with Microsoft Activision goes through, we'll get a ton more. This covers a wide variety of games, but not everything. There are still some big hitters that need to be added. Now WB pulled their games. They're not against cloud though. I see a number of their games on Xbox Cloud, so they might have an exclusive deal with Microsoft. Now this Microsoft deal might get them to reconsider. My kids love their LEGO series, and I love the Arkham series, and with Michael Keaton coming back in The Flash, I would replay the Arkham series on GeForce Now at 4K 120Hz in a heartbeat. And let's not even mention Hogwarts Legacy, whoo man, GeForce Now servers would be bogged down right now. Make it happen. And of course, Rockstar. Rockstar, if you're listening, not being on GeForce Now is costing you millions. How so? Well, we all know how Red Dead Redemption got onto Stadia. Google paid millions of dollars for Rockstar to add the game to Stadia. Now we're also assuming that Rockstar wants to get paid for the games to be added to the platform. I get it, but GeForce Now is not Stadia, and I'm also assuming that you're not seeing the big picture here. Let me explain. I get comments from people almost every single day if GeForce Now will add GTA to the platform. GTA, 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 every single day. And it's not just GTA, but GTA Online. I even made a video for people not to ask anymore. And what you're not seeing is the potential to draw in a new audience. Putting the game on GeForce Now would open the mobile floodgates. This solved the problem for mobile on Fortnite. It would do wonders for Rockstar. If you think that players that only have Xbox, PlayStation, or a PC are the only ones who want to play your games, there is what I'm guessing millions of gamers who are mobile only who are dying to get their hands on your games. Check out this magical comment for when Stadia died. We third world countries don't have the best economy, so most of us aren't able to afford an Xbox or a PS5 because that's a lot of money in their currency. And a good desktop PC costs even more. So cloud gaming was my gaming console, and most of the games that have been created throughout the past few years haven't been played by most third world countries because you spend on what you can afford. The first world is about the current gaming market, while the third is after seven years. Most first world players already played GTA 5. Up until now, millions and millions of third world gamers haven't played GTA 4, much less GTA 5, likewise myself. So the cloud would be now for us, cause it would be more feasible for us to invest in a subscription fee and purchases of games that you can afford. There are potentially millions of people who can't afford consoles or PCs and have mobile devices only who are just waiting to spend money to buy GTA and play it on GeForce Now. And all you have to do Rockstar is opt in. Imagine millions of new mobile players spending money in game Microsoft knows what's up. Now let's talk Elden Ring, game of the year. It's not on GeForce Now yet, nor is it opted in as of now. But Bandai does have a few games opted in, but now that the Microsoft deal is in play, I can see this being added soon. I mean, it's game of the year. I think Bandai's gonna want a piece of this. GeForce Now is expanding its infrastructure worldwide. So you publishers get new mobile customers potentially in the millions. We get high quality, low latency cloud gaming, and you can't manipulate the files. So there's no cheating. This is a win-win for all. Don't let Fortnite and Genshin Impact take all the glory here. Here are big publishers chance to make millions. 
the gamers are ready for the next evolution of gaming. After these leftover publishers opt in, GeForce Now will be set to be the Netflix of cloud gaming, but you'll have to own the games of course. Guys, let the publishers know how bad you want their games added to the platform. Everybody comment! And if you like my thoughts on why AAA publishers should opt into GeForce Now, give us a like! Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe and keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. This is the Black Knight, I've opted into Cloud Gaming for the long haul.